Well, <clears throat> let's just start with a show here. Because we got a the opportunity basically to see what's going on here, and we want to make uh, sure about you know this kind of stuff to This is unbelievable. It's actually, it's unbelievable, basically, how, you know, the stuff, the way they... The way they wanted to present this whole thing is yeah. What we gotta do it is we gotta do this nicely, nicely, nice. We gotta wrap this stuff nice. But it's gonna be there's gonna be no doubt about it. Gonna help these people best of uh, my abilities to understand what they did because their memory somehow. Doesn't work too damn good. For me to say. King Maha entered Kirka Pharmaceutical with his father Bumbol in 96 as what he claimed to help me out, basically, that he's going to help me out. That it's going to be help, that he's going to help me out. I didn't need any fucking help like this. Is anybody that needs to lose 30 years in a process so somebody can fill his pockets and claim it was for a help that you were eventually even 
hospitalized, uh, thrown inside a psychiatric hospital. This is be this is not only being produced by the Kirka Pharmaceutical, therefore Abilify. I was loaded with this psychiatric drug when hospitalized based on malicious slander lies against me by my father, my mother, my sister, and my niece, Urska Gulob Weber. They hospitalized me based on lies which for which in Thailand a princess Bayrikiti Abha stated to me that these are okay drugs. They're not bad the drugs. That they tested them on other patients. She knew all too well, not only Kirka Pharmaceutical, but drugs I was loaded with. Drugs that made me sleep permanently on the, the right side. Yeah, it started in 2008. I had a problem due to Viagra they have loaded me, which they have used to extend MK Ultra sessions, therefore disallowing me to sleep. The MK Ultra sessions would go without any kind of sleep, loaded with the drugs for days, 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 sometimes even weeks using Viagra, causing me severe cardiovascular damage, which somehow, thanks to my growing up, I would do about 1,200 push-ups a day. I was engaging in boxing the same way like Mike Tyson did, the same way like Holyfield did, but never went for professional. That I managed to always somehow rehabilitate myself naturally and go on with it. For the case, I don't even deem I managed, that I accomplished. For this case, I deem Father Almighty God managed to accomplish what I have demonstrated in the world have taken place. Because I don't think without Him, and it was Him only and nobody else, it was only He who still was on my side. There was no other witness, there was no body I had that would side with me, that would still be on my side. It was only faith in Him that brought me to today, to 2023, after 29 years of butcheries. Those are butcheries with excuse, lie, known as MK Ultra. They wanted me to refer to the butchery as MK Ultra. The MK Ultra is a broad, broad, broad window of exploitation people that are drugged up. But in my case, there was something else that was taking place. They wanted me to refer to this as the highest profile MK Ultra ever. No, sir. MK Ultra in this case was just a little, little dot. This was about everything else. Uh, about this was about everything than brain manipulation. This was not about the brain manipulation. This was about nothing other than violence. The psychiatric uh, threat started in 1995. After 18 years of torture and threat that I will be hospitalized inside of the psychiatric hospital, where they did throw me inside already in 1995 to terrorize me, I was finally thrown inside of that psychiatric hospital. But in between, between in 1995, it was all about the butcheries. And I have explained in detail about the cancer pro procedures concerning lymphoma. Therefore, uh, lymph nodes, I explained about thrombosis, what they were doing with my leg, with my left leg, and also what with what taken with a spine. And the shortcut which they have created, they hoped for, eventually would brought over the course of the time due to a lack of dialysis, which were used beginning the 99 first time. They destroyed my body so much, they were forced to use dialysis to rescue my life. A regular became part of 
MK Ultra, talking about dialysis, blood dialysis, since 2002. In 2008, Angela Merkel, German Chancellor, searched for the future blood source for me in the Germany that would supply me in case I would leave Slovenia, in case I wouldn't want to be here. Because Slovenian psychiatrists, police, who engaged in extreme forms of violence against me, butchery, not violence, claimed that I wouldn't have the right to even receive blood from Slovenian people, therefore dialysis, transfusion, and so on, that I am unwanted, in fact, the most hated person in Slovenia. Yeah, that's how that went. So in 2008, Angela Merkel started to look and found in German private clinics the sources which were willing to assist me with a blood, possible blood transfusion, dialysis issues in the future. Princess uh, Bayra Kiti Apa realized that she eventually realized that basically what went on with me, and it's totally questionable whether it was actually even medications that were written on the labels as were given to me. Beginning the 2013, when they threw me inside of the psychiatric hospital, Ljubljana Polje, the problem of 2008, discomfort in a heart area, which was so bad that I could only sleep a certain amount of time on my left side, became so bad in 2013, after receiving the psychiatric drugs, it was so bad pain in my chest on a heart area that since since 2013 no longer would i would even sleep ever on my left side of the body due to cardiovascular pain in other words if you like severe stroke symptoms that's now 10 years that went by and they proceeded to went on to play with dialysis as a police investigator of novamesto stated me he stated to me in 2000 and in 2020, the last time, but it all started in 2018 when I immigrated to Poland to request for political asylum. He stated to me last time in 2020, your blood, you need dialysis. You understand that during MKO truck, you were supported by a blood dialysis, but we will not give you. So just let you know, you need to go to the hospital and get yourself a blood dialysis whenever you can. Inside of the Polish hospitals, inside of the Slovenian hospitals, however, they have not found anything wrong with my blood. Every time when I went, every time when I requested the help, there was nothing wrong with my blood. Everything was perfect, the same as with the spine. The results were used from the past. Like, for instance, my spine was broken already back. Not completely broken, but half broken. Half the damage was done to one. Already in 2004, on the boat along the Turka River, during the fishing, the police investigator started to claim me that it sucks, that my spine also is already broken. They were pleased that my spine already was broken, and it was only waiting for the opportunity, as soon as it gets, for the spine to be completely broken, which Pollux finally accomplished with insanity in 2018 through extreme poverty they implemented against me together with others uh, by giving me basically 18 euros per month and destroying me even those 18 euros per month, ripping me apart things. Uh, when I requested for protection for political asylum in Poland in 2018. That's how disgusting this case actually is. It's sad that Princess Baira Kitiapa worked at the United Nations, was employed at the United Nations, 
just as good as her grandfather who entered with a father inside a Kirka pharmaceutical in 1996 and claimed me that he would be doing this stuff to help me out. She never managed to help me out, but she had, just as she, they claimed me in 2010, beginning of 2010, have fallen in coma, that it will be in coma. It will all be dependent on me on what am I going to say publicly, how am I going to uh, express myself, and so on. And didn't mind to remind me that my life will be basically time. But nobody explained me that it's going to be time through dialysis. Yeah. All based on memory from MK Ultra brainwash and the denial of the right to use health services as other citizens. Never mind employment. I talked about the forced unemployment. Never mind forced unemployment. They went a little bit further with these issues. So let's see what else we can find here for Thailand as far as the psychiatric drugs. Her grandfather never made it. In 2016, when it became totally evident that my case, in fact, will become public, that it will become known, he was gone of the picture. I wouldn't stop talking about the MK Ultra, even when they threatened me in 2015, actually, 2000, end of the 2014 psychiatrist, proctored it. If I ever mention only, uh, if I only mention MQ Ultra, that I would be and was afterwards within days thrown inside a psychiatric hospital. So you can see those Risperdal solutions. And there is more. Today, however, when I have uh, written down on the blog issues, I stressed another blog, uh, drug as a main issue. You know, I stress the drug Risperidone as a main issue because King Maha, of Thailand was afraid of my case so much. You know, the man who wanted to help me, the man who totally obligated himself in 1996 with his father who entered inside the Kirka Pharmaceutical to help me at all the costs, was so afraid of my case that he went on to start manufacturing drugs in Thailand through the Germans and through Prince Andrew was vicious. Prince Andrew, King Charles became totally vicious about how to hide the identity of these products and have therefore decided, well, not based Kirka Pharmaceuticals in Thailand, but rather in Malaysia, next door to Thailand. I just want to be precise, repeating the words of King Maha, this individual right here. So I can't imagine somebody that would want to help somebody so much, but at the same time that he would shiver, shake in fear. do everything possible he could to hide the truth from the world desperately. And when he no longer could, with just like his father, he stated, if it's going to come to worse, the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to disappear from the stage. He entered inside the cardiovascular hospital in Bangkok in 2012. They started to threaten me that if necessary, due to cardiovascular issues, he too, just like Princess Bayra Kitty Abba, will disappear from the stage. 
So just like his father would not have to witness about absolutely anybody for these people just to disappear, it apologized everything. Why have I used that is pardon? Why have I used that is pardon? Here, why? This was the first one they branded in Thailand. And it goes all the way to 2005. Now I am sure you understand. And I see here 2003, the article that is pretty done. and so on and so forth. What we're going to do is we're going to add this stuff. And he was like really, really proud about that. You know, I got through your case and you will be thrown inside of the psychiatric hospital and la, 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 la. And we will not put this inside of our uh, country uh, so nobody will know and you will not be managed to prove and this and that. This is how it went on. This is what went on with him. This is how it was in his world, basically. This was this was his assistance. This was his. Yeah, don't worry about King Maha, Thai King, royals from Thailand. Don't worry about it. I will let you go. I will let you free. You are Asians, and I am a racist. Remember this. So I will let you free. You earned it with the lies. But you earned it. So I let you free. I let you walk free. I'm going to put any kind of charges against you. Don't worry about it. Don't be afraid. In 2017, I think Maha stated to me that some of my statements are like schizophrenic. You see, he became uh, very, very psychiatric. He became uh, very, very smart in respect to psychiatry. He became more and more know about the psychiatry. He became like a psychiatrist. But that he still would give me a chance. <laughs> Imagine, after... Uh, 22 years of butchery under MK Ultra, he still extended me his hand and what he also referred to the Saxe Coburg Gotha Windsor Battenberger Mount Button journalist from Great Britain, as Britons have sent one. Thailand is a land of the compromise. He referred that to the first interview ever. I was brought there and he gave the first interview ever. Well, at least what they say after 40 years. It's a land of the compromise, you know.
In the grandeur of Bangkok's Grand Palace, Mahawachiralongkorn, successor to the kings of ancient Siam, went walkabout tonight with his queen, Sutida, savouring the adulation of his loyal subjects. Not all Thais share their enthusiasm for their monarch. Protests calling for his powers to be reined in have spread across this land of 70 million people. So these yellow-shirted ultra-royalist acolytes have been waiting in the sun for seven hours just for this moment. And their blind devotion to their king stands in very stark contrast to the mood in the protests that have engulfed his kingdom. Thus far, the king has said absolutely nothing about what is going on, other than to signal that absolutism is his preferred style of kingship. Since ascending to the throne four years ago, he's taken full personal command of military units in the capital. He's changed the constitution so that he can rule from abroad. He has spent most of his time in Germany. He took personal control of the $40 billion Crown Property Bureau, adding to his already enormous wealth. His only public utterance in recent weeks has been to say that Thailand needs loyal citizens who love their monarchy. Amid a deepening political crisis, he's been silent. There's been no hint of compromise. King Mahawachirolongkorn has not been interviewed in more than 40 years. Your Majesty, sir, these people love you, but what do you say to the protesters who've been on the streets who want reform? I have no comment. No comment. We love them all the same. We love them all the same. We love them all the same. Is there any room for compromise, sir? Thank you. Oh, Thailand is a land of compromise. Thank okay. you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. The royal party crosses the road to greet supporters on the other side. The king and Princess Siri Wanawari then have an intense and animated discussion about what's just happened. The princess then crosses back to us. We love Thai people, no matter what. And this country is peaceful. I love it. I'm very happy. This is the real love. And you can see. Right? It's okay. King Mahawachirolongkorn continued to drench his besotted supporters in love. This was the biggest royalist rally in all these months of protest. Thailand is polarised, but tonight the king has hinted that there may be a way out. In the grandeur... We love Thailand too. Oh. And I will take no actions whatsoever against Thailand and against the Thai king. No international law enforcement incursion into Thailand against the Thai king and his royal family nor against the country as a state of Thailand. So that a Thai son will continue to shy on his kingdom. Shine. Excuse me, not shy, but shine. This is another Kirka Pharmaceutical production. But for me personally, I find it disgusting that he would be so cautious in respect to Kirka Pharmaceutical that he would go ahead and base one instead in Malaysia.
is next door. I'm sure you understand this is right across the river of me, is this company. Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur, have a border here with the Thailand. They won't tell anything about it. Kirka Asia operations. In 2005, he and his father stated me, we have a medication for you. This is it, Ciprexa. Cipre Ciprexa is produced by the Eli Lili. This is right there. but also by Karka Pharmaceutical. They go by different names. They use all kinds of stuff to cover one another, transactions, and they have a great, great, great pharmaceutical collaboration because this is a crime at large, basically, that covers one another. And so it goes, that's how my 30 years of my life, this is basically what 30 years of my life how it was wasted and basically on what it was wasted. Today is March 24, 2023.